Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well guys. Uh, welcome to my channel. We're going to go ahead and do your reading from the 15th through the 25th. We'll use a Celtic cross this time spread and see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the, 20, from the 15th through the 25th. 15th through the 25th of January. Also, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, please see the description box below. All right, Sagittarius, let's start. What does Sagittarius need to know, please, from the 15th to the 25th? One more. Right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, this may be someone younger. We may be talking about financial gains here, actions towards finances. We will see how it resonates with the rest of the reading. Ooh, Earth sign, Devil, Capricorn, or again, I feel like someone is wants something, but it's taking their sweet time. We do also have the Justice here, so I feel like this justice is becoming an obsession here but again this person is very methodical we'll see we'll see what's happening here very interesting combination someone you may know very well here uh, with the knight of pentacles okay wow okay deception avoidance uh being tricky here with the information again i'm going because of that devil and i'm looking at the action here it may be an earth sign but others here i will be be careful here even when it comes to a work, work situation but having this someone needs to speak the truth starting here uh, with this deception avoidance again for some of you this can be being very strategic here regarding actions not being out in the open Okay, what is the immediate challenge? Yeah, I'm getting earth sign. Goals, meetings, a secret meeting, being strategic here when it comes to goals and intentions, especially again, because it's, uh, it's earth, we may be talking about money here, work, or three people involved. If this is for some of you a relationship at work, this very much may be, again, something that is hidden, being careful not to get caught here. But the immediate is to set goals uh, with the Three of Pentacles, um, alliances, people working together, building a, a foundation really here. Another Capricorn energy, by the way. Capricorn is influencing you guys. All right, so how did this start? It? Mm, I... We have the Page of Swords, uh, Sagittarius, and this is at the root of this. For some of you, may have been uh, some stalking. There may be someone finding information, using that information, uh, information in a different way. Again, I'm getting information and research here, keeping an eye on someone. But in a way, as uh, I'm looking at it as spying, or again, not out, as I mentioned, not out in the open here for others to see. Gossiping, uh, I feel for some of you, spying and gossiping. What happened in the past? Last. Hmm. Someone is watching you. You may be watching them as well because, again, at the heart of this, we have the Seven of Swords and the foundation of this, we have the Pages of Swords. And we did have the uh, the Devil there. With, with the Strength cards here, we're talking about uh, in the past, there was passion, there was yearning. What, what is crowning you at the moment? Knight of Cups, love, action towards love. So although this person feels trapped, they want to take action. They're trying to be careful, uh, methodical. They, uh, with the Knight of Pentacles here, he needs to know that whatever you know actions he will take, that is going to you know be come to fruition. He's going to gain from it. Does not want to waste time now. 
here we are talking about the Knight of Cups. So we're talking about someone that is very sensitive, actions towards love, wants to express themselves, just wants to go with his emotions here, with his heart. You or you know, he or she, whoever is at the moment, action towards love, opening up. If you have been avoiding here and you're just trying to find information but not come out here um, with the Page of Swords, basically this is, you know, to be open. Okay, now this is your page here, guys. The the page of wands is very much Sagittarius. I always look at this as a very Sagittarius energy. Very youthful, very adventurous, um, fun, playfulness. So again, we're talking about messages. Passionate messages coming through. Fun messages. Someone expressing a instant messages here internet messages as well both of these i feel like it can be social media how you see yourself here what is your attitude about this situation uh sagittarius nine of pentacles you're very much here about independence self-sufficiency being well on your own it is venus energy so venus in virgo by the way so we are talking about love and how you attract love uh, but being in Vir Virgo, uh, it is a little bit critical here. But again, it's all about being independent and free and self-sufficient here. So what surrounds you? Four of Wands. Okay. Someone has this attitude of I want to come home. Uh, structure, family, abundance, achievement. Again, this person, whatever is hap happening, their intentions here are to get to the next level. If this is something in hiding or if there are two people here looking overall at the whole reading, they have love, they have passion, but they are very much here trying to avoid it because of a situation that they work together here with the Three of Pentacles or because of other, you know, uh, work situation or family situation, a business with the Three of Pentacles. Again, we are talking about, when we're talking about uh, Pentacles, is something here about security. But this, this situation or this person, they very much want to go to the next level here with the Four of Wands. This is the engagement card. This is the gratitude type of uh, energy coming in together and celebrating one another. What is in your uh, hopes and fears? You have the two of wands. So you want, okay, let's decide here very soon. We know which, you know, what the decision here. The two of wands is that Mars in Aries just going directly here, pure instinct. This is what calls me. So you are waiting for someone to finally make their decision and act on it. Set their intentions clear. Especially if they, they want the four of wands here, which I mentioned, it can be engagement, taking the, the relationship to the next step in a more serious note here. Hierophant, Taurus, energy. We are talking about commitment here again. Marriage. Also, this is very much a counselor, a mentor. As I mentioned, it can be a, a Taurus coming towards you. So even in, in if you guys starting here something that not sure if it's going to be long-term commitment, this tells me that that's what is the best possible outcome out of this, to be in a committed relationship. Now for the ones here, again, that are not looking for love because it's general, to me, this is the counselor. This is very much someone influential here, a teacher following tradition here with that someone is stuck though someone is stuck with that devil energy there okay so let's clarify a little bit overall very good it did start with the seven of swords it's not an easy card to see but let's clarify and see if we can get a more specific what it is about Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. One more, please. Yeah, some of you may be um, dealing with the Taurus there. Nine of Wands, guarded, protected, resilient, very Sagittarius. Someone is tired, though. They've not given up, but they're tired. And maybe that's why they're avoiding here. They're avoiding this situation because they're tired, protecting themselves. All right, so <laughs> temperance, this is you. I don't feel that that necessarily is just someone being very deceptive when I see this. It's just they're trying to work something out here 
it may be again when it comes to you as a Sagittarius, but I feel like going back and forth here and trying to see again strategically what is the best time balancing uh, this emotion. Again, it's very hidden though. It's very hidden. I feel like this person, they're trying to uh, avoid their emotions here by trying to be patient and um, again, and practicing moderation, practicing healing here. That's and, and that's what at the heart of the situation here. How much can this go on? Okay. Overcoming regrets here. Again, I mentioned, as I mentioned, some of you, it's because you're working together. Maybe goals were not set. Something was not built here. So to overcome this regret of what could have been compromising here and leaving this sadness or regret behind. We have Mars in Scorpio here, by the way. Both of these are Mars energy. So we are talking here about willpower, about action. And water and earth very much go well together. There's something here right now, again, that uh, it's... I feel with these two energies here. And this is being the immediate challenge. There's something here that both of you at the moment cannot compromise. There's something that cannot be worked out and someone regrets it that they, they cannot build this situation right, right now. That's what I'm getting with that Five of Cups. Very regretful of uh, not being able to meet, not being able to work a situation. Ooh, this is harsh. Five of Swords and a Page of Swords. Again, why this all happened? Some of you, again, it may be a certain resentment because someone uh, misused certain information. Someone may have been a little bit uh, used provocation here. I feel like because the Page of Swords is such, uh, you know, a curious person, but it has that sense of immaturity. So I think someone may have used the, those words in an immature way, just, you know, to, to, you know, stroke their ego type of situation here. And that's where the regret comes. There's something here that did not come through. And again, the Tempest trying here uh, to heal that. I, I do not, this to me, there's nothing being at the root here. Again, as I mentioned, if someone is watching you uh, or spying here or wanting to know information, at the moment still, there's a lot of ego here and there's a lot of uh, uh, misinformation Someone feels threatened with that. Wow, okay. This is very sexual energy, by the way. The tower and uh, the strength as last here. Again, we're talking about Mars energy with this. Uh, but uh, something happened very sudden here in the past. Shocking here. Again, I, I feel like though this person has so much, so much here when it comes last. Uh, and feelings that, they're, again, they're trying here to, to keep it under control. That, that's what I see with those two, trying to uh, feel that they're not going to explode here when it comes to these feelings uh, for you. Keeping that lead down. I don't think they can. I was like, I don't think they can there. All right, wow. So... The best situation here with the High Priestess, I don't see much action. Again, this is at the moment what's crowning you. It's just, again, two people connecting here, heart to heart, telepathically with one another here, knowing with the High Priestess how they feel. Are you ready? Are you or the other person or situation, you know, to express uh, their love? To know that, you know, something, this is what we feel with one another. I, again... Something happened here, but I feel like at the moment someone wants to, to get over that hurt, that regret. Even, you know, with, with the tower here in the past. Whatever chaos, whatever, you know, when it comes to lust, for them it's not just that anymore. It is more with a high priestess. It's inner here. We're talking again about emotions, inner emotions. Ten, I'm, I'm getting a lot of commitment cards for you guys. A lot of prosperity. For the ones here that, you know, already are in a relationship and maybe you have gone through some hurt, jealousies, gossiping between other people here. This is leading to commitment. Something here, small with a page of wands, a message here toward commitment. Uh, for the ones that are just starting dating, overcoming here, you know, whatever hurt you in the past 
and going back out there dating this is very possible it will lead to long-term commitment ten of pentacles here some of you may be finding here uh you know love with people that you work with Yeah, you are very independent, Sagittarius. You are trying to, you know, to, to keep a balance here uh, regarding your independence. And again, when it comes to this relationship, balancing that a part of your life here. All right, so they're trying to move towards you. That's the goal here. Let's make it happen. Transition here into a better situation. Again, I feel like this uh, person or a project here, or whatever it's here that you're asking how is it going to get you to the next level this is very positive their intentions here are real okay so here you are now this is what it's interesting to me you have the nine of pentacles and the two of pentacles and again is here a balance when it comes to your independence to your freedom to your security to your money it's very important here and then in your emotions, you want someone to decide very uh, soon. Are you hoping that you finally be careful not to sabotage? Because as you are here balancing this situation, at, at the same time, you are uh, deciding very, very quickly here. What is the next step? I It looks like very much here deciding, okay, I want to be independent. I want to be free. I want to be available. You are the person here. Because again, I'm getting a lot of commitment and family issues here. And there goes the page of swords. Okay, so if this uh, person, Taurus, for some of you here, someone very influential, influential, this may be, a, again, a father figure for some of you, There's um, or a mentor. There's some messages that are coming through from this person. There's a, they, they have a certain knowledge when it comes to you. I feel like they're watching you. Remember, this is how it started here. This person definitely, I feel like, is going to reach out, though. You are going to get messages here, and it has to do with uh, commitment, uh, family, when it comes to prosperity, long-term goals. Someone wants to make long-term goals with you. Start here. If we are talking about a career in this area, you are going to get information. Something to do, again, real estate um, counselor, mentor, teacher, uh, and, and so on. It can be for some of you here with this. Again, I want to keep it general so everybody can take a message here. But for others, if this is a, a love connection, if it is uh, you asking if this person is uh, someone here that you can count and they are serious, I feel like they're very much here. This is your immediate future. They're coming here towards you and uh, it's bringing uh, marriage, prosperity, family. This to me at, right now, the outcome is that someone very much reaches out. They're keeping an eye. I don't see this presently, what's crowning you, what's consciously, you know, when it comes to you. But I feel like this person very much um, has a certain information about you. It's finding information. It's listening. It's watching. Um, but I, I, again, I don't get with a hierophant. He's using this wisely. Whatever happened here, this person is using this uh, information very much wisely, very maturely in this case um trying to do the right thing by then especially if this is what happened as i mentioned if this person was the one that misused that information now they're trying to take you know responsibility for it for as i mentioned again for some of you it's just plain a taurus type of person for those that connect with the taurus okay sagittarius there was um uh, your overall message here from the 15th through the 25th I hope it does resonate with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.